We are here at LA Union Station and we're here to take a train called the uh, Coast Starlight. So we're going to take the train from here in LA all the way to San Francisco. It's going to be like a 12 hour train ride. So right now we just got off a cruise ship and now we're getting on a train. Now we're entering the main hall. You can see the stunning chandeliers. This station is bustling with commuters and travelers, which creates a lively atmosphere. Here you can see several cafes, which includes coffee shops like Starbucks for your coffee. Now we have to take the elevator to the Metropolitan Lounge. It's a dedicated lounge designed for premium passengers traveling in first class or business class. How you guys doing? Good. Good morning. Right at the desk, I will check. Thank you, you Pascal. Today. Welcome to Amtrak Metropolitan Lounge. Like yeah. your first trip with us? Yeah. I love it. Enjoy. Have fun, guys. Here, passengers can enjoy complimentary snacks and beverages, including soft drinks, coffee, and light refreshments. There's also a dedicated playroom for families traveling with kids. You know, I'm not really a big coffee drinker. But I find that the older I get, the more coffee I drink. Why is that? Hmm. Ah, time to chill here while we wait for our departure time. We don't even have to walk to the train because they take us to the train on a special electric shuttle. You actually feel kind of special when you uh, use this service. Uh, everybody else had to walk to the train, but we, uh, we did not have to. Here's our train backing up to meet us so we could get on board. Well, let's go upstairs to our little room. It's it's called a roomette, by the way. Uh, on your right, there it is. Yeah. Yeah, so this is what you call a roomette. And we have a closet here for, uh, say, if you had a coat or a jacket that you didn't want to fold up. And there we go. We got a couple hangers here for the two occupants. And we got some towels. Why you ask? Well, because there's a shower here that you could use if you want to. So we got towels, right? Isn't that neat? And look at this big comfy chair. It, and it reclines too. It's a recliner. All right, got a little coat hanger here. And a trash bin. Yeah, it's pretty spacious. Our own lights. And our little room here. AC controls, of course, because you have your own little space, so you want to be able to control your temperature and some reading lights if you want to read a book. There's a little bunk on top for sleeping for the second passenger because the, the, the first passenger can actually sleep at the bottom. If you recline both of the seats, it turns into a bed, but here's the top one for the second passenger. I think I'm going to try this out later. We'll see. And I'm going to show you, uh, I mentioned the shower, so here we are, just want to have a look. Uh, wow, there's a lot of room here. Look at that. It's actually a pretty decent shower stall. And of course, more towels here if you need more. Yeah, it's all wrapped up in plastic, which means they're not used, they're unused. Nice big mirror. Yeah, I was expecting a smaller one, like uh, like a small bathroom on a plane, but this is big. You know what? To be honest, this feels bigger than the shower stall on the cruise ship that we were just on. 
That's pretty amazing if for uh, for a train, you know. No, it's uh, a lot of room. I'm still deciding if I'm, if I'm going to take a shower because I took a shower this morning. So I'm not sure if I'm going to use this, but at least we know where it is and how it looks like. And here's just a regular bathroom. Yeah, I know it's way better than the bathrooms on the plane. Look at this. It looks like a real faucet. It's not one of those little trickle things that you... Wow, good pressure. It's like water pressure at home. It's not like one of those trickle, trickle faucets that you get on the plane. This is real. This is real water pressure. Not bad at all. Not bad. Yeah, let's do some exploring on this train and see what else is on board. Uh, we appear to be in the dining car. We're actually moving forward, by the way. More dining seats and tables, and we are in the observation car. Look at this. Look at these large windows. Just imagine when you're when you're passing by the coast, see uh, just beautiful sights, and when you're climbing the mountains. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, it's going to be great in here. I would imagine this place will be full of passengers later on, so I think we better get our spot early. Let's make our way back to our room. Look at this, there's a food preparation area right here in the middle of the dining car. Makes sense. And uh, we're moving back towards the, uh, yeah, the rear of the train once again, to our little room. All right, let's see, let's uh, settle in. The train started to move, by the way, and we're settling in here. privacy curtain and a nice door here to keep the noise down it's, yeah you literally have your own little room very nice <laughs> okay it's time to go to the observation car let's go and uh, take a walk let's go As I had guessed earlier, yeah, this will be the favorite spot for a lot of people. So let's see if we can find a vacant seat. Oh, there we are. Oh, she got me a, she got me a seat. Ah, the farmlands of Southern California. Yeah, we're still quite far from the coast, but we're gonna get there. Meantime, let's have a look downstairs. I hear there's a cafeteria down there, so let's have a look. And one floor below us here. Ah, there it is. Uh, if you if you can't wait for dinner or lunch, come here and grab some snacks. They even got sandwiches here as well. Uh, going back to her seat. Let's see what the view looks like. Ooh, I'm seeing some water. Yep, we are getting close to the coast right now. Wow, uh, that's a beauty, hey? Isn't that nice? Yeah, I love this. Here's a map to see uh, our current position and our direction of travel. Right along the 101. And it's lunchtime. 
we scheduled our lunch just in time for uh, when the when the train hits the coast because you can actually schedule which lunch time you want to take. Oh yeah, she's waving. <laughs> Wow, look at that. That's as close to the water as you can get on a train. Beautiful, beautiful views. Santa Monica right here. We're doing a quick stop here to take some passengers in. Uh, in the meantime, I'm having dessert. Mmm. Okay, let me show you the economy section or coach. Yeah, so look at the legroom on these economy seats. They're like three times the legroom on the plane, like on an economy section of the plane. It's uh, pretty comfortable. It's, it's, like, it's like premium economy on a plane. This is the uh, the very front. Uh, this is as far forward as you can go. Right out of that window I'm looking at right now is the baggage car. And in front of the baggage car are the two locomotives. And we're back on our comfortable observation lounge. I can never get tired of this view. There's something about the ocean, you know? Now we're going to get some rest in our little uh, room here. Yeah, she wants to she wants to have a nap, but I still want to take a look at the view. So I'm going to be looking out the window while she has her nap. Wow, look at that. We're getting ready to climb up the mountains here. I can see the front of the train. You can see the two locomotives and the baggage car and the, uh, the third car or the fourth car, <laughs> which is where we were just on earlier looking towards the front yeah so from the ocean to the mountains uh kind of somewhat like a uh, a high desert because we are uh getting towards central california here very hilly welcome to to uh san luis obispo california we are uh stopping for a few minutes here uh, let's take a look at the train here. We're here for about 15 minutes, so you have some time to stretch your legs. That's the uh, baggage car that I was mentioning earlier. Uh, we checked in our luggage along with a lot of all the passengers, so this is where the luggage goes in. Still a lot of room. Now let's take a look at the locomotives. Now these are uh, particular interest to me. These are uh, GE, General Electric ALC 42 locomotives, each producing 4,200 horsepower each. Yeah, diesel electric, which means it has a, each one has a huge diesel engine that powers a generator that runs electric motors underneath the locomotives to pull the entire train. Quaint little train station they got here. Time to get back on the train. Oh, that's what it's for. Okay. Right. You can put your stuff on there if you like. Oh, because it already has its own. All right. Yes, and then the blankets down and up. Oh, okay. There's your pillow. Perfect. All right. Thank you. you. Gotta climb up. <laughs> yeah. Yep. There's a step right there. Yeah. Okay. Thank right. you. Thank you. Hey, you can go back inside. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, climb up. Oh, it's pretty comfy up here. Wow. I can stretch all the way. I shut this curtain here for a little privacy. Shut. Yeah. Turn off the lights as well. First of all, uh, before we completely doze off, let me show you. I turn the other direction because I feel more comfortable facing this way. 
here are some straps that you could use or you should use so you don't fall off the pop bunk there you go it catches you if you in case you fall you got a little magnetic container here for your little items like phones glasses whatever wallet And there she is downstairs stretched out as well uh, the two seats turned into a bed by the way if I hadn't mentioned that well it's dinner time hmm I'm actually kind of hungry now let's check out this menu wow all these look delicious Flat iron steak, mm, I like the sound of that. Mm. I got my skewered cheese over here and she's got her coconut deep fried shrimp. Mm. And oh, finally my steak has arrived, or well, our steak. And my IPA. Can I have a little bit of beer? Well, just to relax. Let me know how that tastes. Hmm, okay. All right. Oh my god, this chocolate mousse looks heavy. Big. I don't think I can finish all this. And each of us has one. I don't know. That's too much for me. There's too much chocolate. Well, give it a shot. Come on. You can do it. What? Really? Is it good? Tell me. Is it good? We're going pretty fast right now. We're in Northern California. We're approaching Oakland. Let me uh, turn on my GPS here. Let me show you just to see... Uh, Oh, yeah, we're going 125 kilometers an hour in a 40 kilometer hour zone. That's, I mean, you're on a train, so you're kind of exempt from the speed limit. Uh, dinner's over. We're back in our little room here. Just the final, final preparation for getting off. So about, um... About 12 hours after getting on getting on the train in Los Angeles, we are here in Oakland, California. So about yeah, 12 hours. I got me some uh, got me some takeout. The dessert was so good during dinner. Well, we couldn't finish it because I mean we were so full. So uh, we decided to take a, take it with us. But uh, overall, I could say. It was actually a pretty good train ride. So if you're traveling from anywhere between San Diego, California, all the way to Seattle, this is actually a, um, a pretty good option for you to take if you're not in a hurry. Experience-wise, you wouldn't be able to match this. This is right. it's actually a pretty good experience. So what are you doing? I actually was able to sleep for two hours, like on an actual bed. I'm, I'm sure you saw that on the video. So um, no. That much I can't though. And then before that we were able to, to to have a nap for like half an hour before that and it was a pretty comfortable ride. And this train right now is gonna he keep heading north. It's gonna go to um, <laughs> gonna go to Seattle. So it's gonna from now before it gets to Seattle it's gonna be about twenty four another twenty four hours before it arrives in Seattle. The food was excellent. It wasn't what I was expecting for a train ride, but it was it was really delicious from lunch, dinner, and dessert. And there goes the train, headed for Seattle. You know what, I wish I was still on the train, but um, it was, you know what, if you're not in a hurry, and if you're traveling somewhere between San Diego and Seattle, any of those points in between, it's highly recommended. And we are here in Oakland. We're just waiting for a ride to, uh, take us where we're going next if you have any questions regarding this trip and you want to know more just ask us in the comments